Let's first talk about the credit card. Uh, I've probably told everyone on this show a million times about the credit card. Maybe they hearing it from you would be better in terms of how it works. Yeah, sure thing. So, I mean, <clears throat> if you've been living under a rock and haven't heard, we're, you know, we were the first company in the world to launch a Bitcoin rewards credit card. This is it right here. I'll see if I can get a little clink sound. You know, it's a nice metal card. Um, this is the world's first card that lets you earn Bitcoin instead of regular cash back or airline miles. So uh, you get three and a half percent cash back on in Bitcoin for your first 90 days of having the card, <clears throat> one and a half percent cash back uh, on every purchase after that. And there's a bunch of other benefits across the platform. You get uh, rebates on your trading volumes. You get higher refer a friend bonuses. Um, and actually right now through the end of the year, we're running a promotion where uh, if you sign up for the card and, and make your first transaction before the end of January, we'll give you 75 bucks on our platform that you can use to uh, buy Bitcoin. So the card's been live since the summer. I've got some interesting stats to share with you, but um, that's the card at a high level. Uh, it's still really the, the only premium card in the market right now um, that lets you, uh, you know, spin credit and earn Bitcoin. So I went back uh, and I looked at the rewards that I've been earning. And uh, you're going to correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think you earn, what is it, uh, three or four percent for the first like 90 days and then one and a half percent after that? That's right. Three and a half percent for the first 90 days, one and a half percent on every transaction after that. OK, so those numbers, they seem like kind of what I would consider normal credit card type returns, maybe on the higher end of, of a normal range. But you get paid in Bitcoin. And obviously, Bitcoin's price has gone up, especially since over the summer when you guys launched it. And so at one point I went and I looked and I had earned eight percent back on my purchases. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, damn, every time I swipe this card, if I just keep thinking it's going to be some big percentage, whatever the percentage ends up being, five percent or, you know, twenty five percent, uh, I'm going to spend more money. Like this is a problem. <laughs> and what I realized was there's really no other way to get outsized uh, kind of rebates or rewards other than you get paid in an asset that then appreciates in price, right? Like this has to be uh, on the actual, like almost like real return basis, the highest reward credit card uh, if Bitcoin continues to go up over time, right? Yeah. I mean, look, it's, it's changing the game. Earning airline miles or cash back, you are guaranteed that over time, those rewards that you're getting are going to be worth less. Um, and, you know, I believe and I know you believe that if you're earning Bitcoin uh, regularly and you have a long term you know, time horizon, the Bitcoin is going to be worth more. So, you know, what that translates into for our cardholders is exactly what you described. Yes, it's a three and a half or a one and a half percent rate, like the day that you make the swipe. But over time, it becomes a much higher uh, effective cash back rate as Bitcoin, you know, appreciates in value. Um, so, you know, people are catching on to this. Like we've, we've done a few surveys uh, with our card holding clients and we've gotten some interesting data out of them. First off, in six months since we launched the card, we're already on track for folks to spend $2 billion on the card in the first year. And already we've provided over 200 Bitcoin in rewards uh, to our card holders, which is over you know $10 million at the current price. Um, furthermore, 90% of the folks that have the card uh, are still holding on to every Bitcoin reward that they receive. So we're enabling folks that want more Bitcoin to get it. They're holding on to it. Um, we're also making it easy for folks to you know come get their hands on Bitcoin when maybe uh, you know they haven't been as active in the market before and they're looking for an easy way to start earning Bitcoin. So we found that over two thirds of our card holders are spending less on their traditional cash back cards and 50% of the folks that have the BlockFi card uh, are, are using it for more than 75% of their transactions now. Wow. So, all right. Uh, how Do you guys release how many cards are actually out in the market yet? Like, What's the last public number you've released? We're at about 75,000 cards at the bottom of the funnel, meaning somebody has received the card, activated it, and already made a purchase. Okay, so we got 75,000 cards kind of in people's hands, maybe is the way to kind of talk about it. And yep. they're on track to spend $2 billion through this card, which uh, for people who don't know, uh, what it, it, from like a Visa perspective, it, that's a great launch. That's a like a market leading one. Is that average? How does that stack up against other types of cards that they've done? Yeah, Visa has been blown away. Our bank partner partners on the card have been blown away. It's like the, they've called it the most enthusiastic credit card launch that they've ever seen. Um, 
And, you know, that's because folks uh, understand the value and they, similar to you, once they get the card and start using it, they see the Bitcoin price go up, they do the math and they, they get really excited about it. I mean, I know personally, um, I'm doing all of my spending, uh, you know, on this card now. And uh, it, it's been a tremendous launch, you know, an average premium credit card monthly spend uh, Visa, MasterCard or Amex is around 1500 bucks. Right now, the average monthly spend on a BlockFi card is about 3000 Got it. And then talk to us about this number, like 89, 90%, I think, of people have not sold the Bitcoin that they've earned. John and I were talking about it earlier, and we were just blown away by how big of a number that is. Like, what, what do you think feeds into that? It's just Bitcoin holders in general tend to hold it? It's all the training that you and your brothers give people watching the show. Hang on to your hang on to your Bitcoin. But the other thing is, uh, you know, what BlockFi is probably most well known for is our interest account product. We were one of the first places in the world where you can hold Bitcoin on our platform and earn interest uh, on your Bitcoin in Bitcoin. So folks are earning these rewards from spending on the car. That Bitcoin then goes into their interest account product and compounds even further because as your Bitcoin balance grows, you earn more interest on it uh, in that account. So. Um, you know, the general behavior that we see on our platform is folks are net buyers of Bitcoin. They want to accumulate more Bitcoin. And this card is really just helping facilitate that um, and accelerate the trend that was already in place with our clients. Okay. And then talk to me about the difference between a personal credit card and a corporate card. These are only for individuals today, or can businesses also get them? Uh, right now, it's just uh, for individuals. Um, hopefully, you know, by the midpoint of next year, we'll have an option where you can get a card in the name of uh, your business. Awesome. Uh, and Joe, John, what questions do you guys have in terms of the credit card uh, and, and kind of this launch? It's just absolutely insane when you start looking at these numbers. Is there a wait list for the card now or no? Uh, no, there there was a wait list uh, before launching. But if you hear anyone say, oh yeah, I was on the wait list. You know, I don't know when my card's coming. The wait list period is over. In our app or on our website, on our website now, you can, you know, two, three clicks, actually apply for the card, get approved, um, and then receive it, uh, you know, in the mail a few days after that. Gotcha. Can you talk about the different rewards? So can you get, you can obviously get Bitcoin in return. Can you do cash back? Can you do other cryptocurrencies? And then like, what are people using it for? Yeah, so you can, you can select to earn your rewards in any of the cryptocurrencies or stable coins that are supported on our platform. So if you decide I'd rather be earning Ethereum this month or, you know, Uniswap or Litecoin, uh, or actually if I just want, you know, to increase my cash balance on the BlockFi platform where I earn 9% on the cash that I hold in the form of stable coins at BlockFi, uh, you can do that as well. Um, we see the vast majority of people uh, just stick with the Bitcoin option. Um, but we launched that, you know, flex rewards feature uh, about six weeks ago. Um, and I think around 15% uh, of people have, have elected to, you know, get the rewards in a different currency uh, than Bitcoin so far. 